that you enjoy, that the world enjoy, that you don't pay us for, that you don't value, that, or are you, you in the pockets? You, are you in the pockets? Because this is a hypocrisy that exists in the world. This next clip, which I'm excited for you to see, uh, the President Guyana smashes this BBC presenter. I was just curious. Uh, British Guyana was a thing, so... Oh, it so he's part of the UK empire. He's, so he's bashing his former colonizer. I like it. Big picture. Let's take a big picture look at what's going on here. Over the next uh, decade, two decades, it is uh, expected that there will be one hundred and fifty billion dollars worth of oil and gas extracted off your coast. It's an extraordinary figure, but think of it in practical terms. That means according to many experts, more than 2 billion tons of carbon emissions will come from your seabed, from those reserves, and be released into the atmosphere. I, I don't know if you as a head of state went to the COP Let in Dubai. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there. Do you know that Guyana has a forest forever that is the size of England and Scotland combined? A forest that stores 19.5 gigatons of carbon? A forest that we have kept alive? A forest that we have kept alive. Does that give you the right? No, Does no, that no, give no. you the right to release that, that all of this carbon? Right. Does from... that give you the right to, to lecture us on climate change? I am going to lecture you on climate change because we have kept this forest alive that stores 19.5 gigatons of carbon that you enjoy, that the world enjoy, that you don't pay us for, that you don't value, that you don't see a value in, that the people of Guyana has kept alive. Guess what? We have the lowest deforestation rate in the world. And guess what? Even with our greatest exploration of the oil and gas resource we have now, we will still be... Uh, net zero. Guyana will still be net zero with all our exploration. A couple of points. Still be net zero. No, 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 no. Powerful, powerful no, words, no, no, Mr. No, President. No, no, no. I, 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 I am not completed as yet. I am not finished as yet. I am just not finished as yet because this is the hypocrisy that exists in the world. We, the world in the last 50 years has lost 65% of all its biodiversity. We have kept our biodiversity. Are you valuing it? Are you ready to pay for it? When is the developed world going well, to pay for it? Or are you, you in the pockets? You, are you in the pockets of those who have damaged the environment? Are you in the pockets? Are you and your system in the pockets of those who destroyed the environment <laughs> the, through the industrial revolution and now lecturing us? Are you in their pockets? Are you paid by them? Are you all paid right, to keep right, Go! <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's like th this goes back to a story that we've covered several times in different in different iterations. Like, and I asked this I asked this question to uh, a good friend of ours and um, <clears throat> a rad organizer who has, um, uh, gosh, I'm blanking on his last name right now, but Leo oh, Leo Flores, who uh, is is from Venezuela, is Venezuelan, and worked at the embassy before it was basically illegally taken over by the American government, and now does. Um, does work for various organizations and his point was like yes there is like an eco-socialist and uh you know a green movement in venezuela that doesn't want to drill for oil but he's like how dare the united states right. how dare russia or anybody tell us that we shouldn't be drilling for oil okay well then first of all lift the blockade lift the sanctions on our country and give us a way you control the global markets so then you give us something to work in that will feed our people so it's like it is a total hypocrisy this dude's british okay so first of all you brutalized oppressed and murdered his ancestors i assuming that his ancestors are also from guyana and then you have then you have like emissions that are astronomical I compared know. to the, his little the, nation. The way Brits and Americans live is what is largely what is destroying this planet. Massive use of fossil fuels. So he's not mad at Brits for using all these fossil fuels. He wants to go to Guyana and say, "How dare you build yourself up?" Right, exactly. Because just like with the plastic story that we covered, where, you know, it's like the Philippines have the largest uh, plastic problem. It's like, no, it's because we ship our plastic to them. They don't have a plastic problem. We have a plastic problem and a hell of a colonialism problem to boot. So it's like kind of like, oh, I don't have a drinking problem. I've got a drinking solution. True. That's very, um, very similar. That's, that's a bit of a, tan a different story, but I'm glad you're processing. <laughs> so like it is just the audacity, but that is also colonialism, to right? To lecture them, to on lecture that, yeah. them on like their output, their carbon footprint. It's like you are the creators of the system that has destroyed this this globe, and then you dare lecture him for trying to survive as a nation. It's like it's the same thing with Venezuela. It's like they're just desperately trying to survive 
under these circumstances. It's like, absolutely, they're going to drill for oil because that's what they can survive off of. You've made it impossible. Kind of like how poor people have to shop at Walmart. Um, and, and you know, the, a lot of workers have to take jobs in the coal industry or the oil industry, not because they love it. Not because, you know, a lot of these workers love being knee deep in toxic fracking chemicals, chemicals that they don't even know what the hell they are because they're not allowed to know because it's trade secrets. They don't love that job. That's not what they grew up wanting to do. But it's like you made it impossible to survive and feed your family with any other options. So this it's is like, not it's not too different from a like a high level banking exec or something or a high, or a coal <laughs> and saying, do you understand how bad coal is for the yeah. environment? And he's like, what do you want me to do? Like, I should you, watch my children starve instead. Yeah, you you created this system where this is the way to feed my family and I'm supposed to just quit. And yeah. meanwhile, the banking executive rolling in dough as Brits are rolling in, you know, co the comfort of using fossil fuels. Anyway.